Virginia that we paid fifteen hundred dollars to go here. Have you guys seen the uh, Mazelcon? The yes. rapper that stole the Bitcoin. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yes. Holy shit, man! I saw that this morning and I wanted to die. Mm -hmm. Melissa, yeah, what's you ours? Heather Morgan. Morgan. Heather Morgan. That's it. I liked how she got a really simple white girl's name. Is she uh, is she Turkish or Kurdish or whatever? No. Because I want to know. I want to know because um, I think that. Um, Whatever she is, that that type of that fucking needs to be like bleached from the earth. <laughs> whatever fucking like Gina type or whatever she is. She's smart enough to steal all that. Money. No, that's that's um that shit is uh I'm, I don't want to hear any of that because that's what people say. They go, oh, I can't believe she was smart enough to steal the money, and oh, but how could how could she? She must be a CIA plant because she's a um. Uh, she's stupid. She appears stupid, but she's like a hacker. She hacked into it. Look, here's the thing: the um, uh, people, people who are like little weasels, like little, they have little, they're like little weasel people, and they have uh, a fucking eighty IQ. If they dedicate their eighty IQ entirely towards doing something malevolent and antisocial. They're gonna they're gonna do something that looks like they did something pretty cool, like they they're gonna look like a mastermind. Like I've dated girls like this where they they took their ADIQ and they got it spun up, and they they dedicated it towards fucking with me somehow. And it's like oh wow you look like a fucking mastermind, but it's because you spent your every fiber of your being trying to get me uh you know in legal to some sort of trouble or something or or fuck with me. Um, this this woman is just the same. She's just a, a maniacal, uh, uh, diabolical, scheming, fucking hair, hair-brained, hair-brained person. If she was good, she wouldn't have gotten caught. It also wasn't like hacking. It was like social engineering. Yeah, exactly. Was what was it? She, she created... She probably, she probably, <clears throat> said, she probably told someone, I'll show you my pussy. That, that's, that's what I think it was. She was fucking an Asian kid. Yes, exactly. And the kid was like, I know how to get, I know, I know how to get the Bitcoin. And uh, they give you the password. And if you set up a company, they are able to sell you cryptocurrency. And then she was like, I give head. That's some of the best shit I've ever heard in my life, Nick. <laughs> and then, um, okay, okay, <laughs> okay like, uh, you put my penis in your mouth. And it, uh, so wet. Oh, I like head. And, oh so, my God. So man. you're able to, uh, so you are able to uh, deposit the cryptocurrency uh, from a wallet, okay, to, uh, um, oh, I'm going to come. <laughs> Somebody's got to animate that. That's like the funniest shit ever. And then she did nothing. Like she oh didn't do anything. She's like the Israeli girl that was from WeWork. Yes. Like a fucking retard. Yes. But here's the worst part about that. You should be so fucking embarrassed if you're, A, the Chinese kid getting the head. Because mm -hmm. he should be ashamed. His parents, the doctors... Imagine what his parents sacrificed to get him to where he is. Living in an air conditioning unit. Yes. Setting him to brown. Yes. For $78,000 a year. Yes. For him to learn coding, to get blown once by a Turkish dork. Yes. And then he gets caught up. And she was just crazy enough to be like... There's millions of dollars in here. Yeah, technically, you know, there's a glitch where we put like a million dollars of cryptocurrency. There's something ASMR like stimulating about you saying cryptocurrency in the Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting my balls busted all week by a Chinese kid who's mad at me for not FaceTiming of a picture of a GLC 63. Uh -huh. Why can't you take a picture of the uh, FaceTime? Is it company policy for you not to? Uh, uh, FaceTime. I'm like, I don't have a fucking iPhone, dude. I have a droid. I'm not sending, I'm not fucking FaceTiming with you. I'm not downloading an app. You know what the car looks like. I'll send you 75 pictures of it. I know. I brought it back to cars again. But that's that's why I talk to. I talk no, to please keep bringing it. People like when there's, there's nah, one, people no, are yelling at there's me. fucking one person. Yeah, I know. And the person who complains about uh, you bringing it back to cars had some, like, probably had some glitched out like car moment with their dad yeah, or something. He probably watched a car salesman like eat his girlfriend out or something. Yeah. He walked in on like the shut guy the who up. just sold him his Mazda 3. Mm -hmm. And he was like, shut the door, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get out of here, dweeb, fucking dweeb dork. He's <laughs> like looking at like a fucking, like a like, fucking, like goofy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> She's fucking scream coming out of <laughs> Yo, is it cool if my dog fucks you? <laughs> no! He shuts the door. <laughs> no, that's where the car sales and then sold us my Mazda 3 Touring. <laughs> my <laughs> girlfriend of 20 years. But yeah, no, I that, that fucking thing was so good, dude. Yeah. What's her name? What's his name? The guy, uh, Heather Morgan's uh, husband? His name was Lichtenstein. Ilya, Ilya Lichtenstein. I-I-L-Y-A Lichtenstein. Little rat person. You remember, you ever watched Goldeneye? No. You, you don't, you ever saw Goldeneye? The movie? Yeah. No. You ever seen Goldeneye? With Pierce Brosnan? You didn't see it? 007? Have you seen it? James Bond? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> you haven't seen it? No. Fuck! Uh, is it good? There's a part in it, there's a hacker that's just like, probably the, um... The boyfriend? The kid, yeah, he, he's, he's uh, Boris the Hacker. And he's like, I am Boris! I am the king of the world! He talks like that. Who's the funniest writer like, of uh, Goldeneye? He, uh... <laughs> you write Goldeneye? His like, thing is, like, uh, he changes people's passwords, and he's like, I change... I use seat on it, but it is not a chair. And it's, <laughs> it's like, butt. <laughs> like, it's boobs. Is <laughs> really? Like, when he changes the passwords to... He's got fun jokes. But, yeah, they both, um... Both those people, you can tell from their, their facial structure that they're, uh... They're not, they're not the type of people that you want to have their DNA floating around and, um... Ugh. <sighs> like, yeah, like, they both... I saw a video this girl posted of her doing something with pancakes, and mm. I immediately wanted to rip every fucking hair out of her head. Mm. I wish there was a game where it was, it was Double Dare, but the game was rip every hair out of this girl's head <laughs> while you hold her down... But you sit, like, you. she's sitting on the ground in front of you in a chair, and you get to put your legs over her. And when Mark Summers says, go! So you're like a, a black older sister? Yes. Doing, Instead of, like, doing, doing, doing the, the hair, no, you're ripping every yeah, piece yeah, of her okay. hair out as fast as you give. Yeah. 50, you have six, 60 seconds on the clock! <laughs> and you have to rip every hair out of her head. Uh-huh. And then I would have felt fine with that. Yeah. I, would have been like, I get it. I know why they want me to do that because she sucks. Mm -hmm. People, should, we should bring back noose like hanging and shit. I think so. I was thinking about the the other day why they don't. Um, yeah, it's probably too serious of a conversation. Well, I was what? thinking. Public. I was just thinking about how um, part of the reason why we are the way that we are is that we uh, Europe for hundreds of years executed like one percent of their population. They took the the one the you know the the bottom, the worst, the, the worst um, criminal element of their society and, like, publicly executed them. Yeah. Um, and that, like, nowadays we're, like, the like the opposite almost. Yeah, we're, like, everybody's just running around just grabbing Louis bags. Or, or worse. And I don't know, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, shoplifting's one thing, but it's, like, I just feel like you can get away with you get away with too much. People get away with too much nowadays. Well, they, I mean, I think there was a big thing on incarceration and holding up the law, and now it's the opposite of like the law. Maybe they went a little too hard, which is probably fair. I looked. I looked up the statistic. It's point uh, point seven percent. Is it point? Can you look this up, Joey? What percent of the population is currently incarcerated? It's like less than one percent. Should be like twenty percent. Like twenty percent of people should find. <laughs> you know what though? I, you know what it would look like. The streets would look like that fucking New York cop funeral. Because you know how it gets. Cops just take it to the next level. You know how point cops seven, are. Point seven percent of the country's in jail I think right that now. Sounds like a lot. Should be like. Does that mean there's more prisoners than there are homosexuals. Should be really like four percent. Uh, there's not more prisoners than there are homosexuals. Point seven percent is like less than a percent. Not all homosexuals are prisoners, but all prisoners are homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Uh, that sounds like a lot of people. <laughs> sounds like a lot of fucking people in the can. All homosexuals are prisoners. <laughs> They're all in the can. <laughs> in Nick's in Nick's country. Yeah, it might. You go to jail, but the, I'll I'll give them like fun projects and shit. I'll be like, here's guys, I got some wallpaper scraps. Mm -hmm. I'm a lady. I know you are, and that's why I got you some buttons. <laughs> I know you are. Here you go. Here's some fabric and some fabric scissors. And one of those tables with a grid on it. So you can really make some dope clothes. No one's going to pick on you either for it, dude. It's going to be great. You've been removed from society. Yeah, dude. This is what you always wanted. Now you can just chill out, drink mimosas. What would, would you, you call could? it? Uh, a, a gay, all gay prison? Or everybody that goes there has to be gay? 
either one. Like, everybody goes there? Like, uh, you get a manslaughter charge. No, I think it's an all-gay prison. It's just an all-gay prison? Yeah. Uh, huh. you did a You did a cartoon for How to Bomb that was, there was something like this in it. An all-gay prison? It was like a gay, it was like a gay prisoner, and he was just, like, super excited and happy. He's just really <laughs> in a good mood. He's really great. Because yeah, yeah. in prison, movies, like, the, the media, like, the gays in, in, like, the gay guy in prison on TV seemingly gets through prison pretty easy. Like, no one's fucking with him. He's not getting the shit kicked out of him. He's getting fucked, but... Well, Michael Ehrlich said that he had the best sex of his life. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's like this. It's great. I'm getting fucked. <laughs> he, he said it like that, too. Yeah, it's great. Oh, it's, oh, it's great. <laughs> what the fuck's the problem? No one fucks with, like, you know, like, normal guys, like, teachers and shit that, like, tax evade. They're just getting fucked up by <laughs> Spanish guys all the time. Just, like, getting punched in the face in the mm-hmm. schoolyard. They're playing to play, trying to play pickup basketball games, and they're getting, like, knocked down and kicked in the fucking ribs. Mm. That's not fun. You're trying to lift weights. as a guy pinning the fucking, the fucking bar in your throat. <laughs> like, sitting on each side. <laughs> this is my bench. Yeah, call your mama. <laughs> <laughs> just getting yoked up with a fucking piece of wire and shit. <laughs> gay guys over there just, like, having a fucking fashion show. Yeah, with free other reign. Guy. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, we got a Hide Wars fan. Oh, no way. <laughs> Tell him to say hi. The Ronald McDonald House. Mm-hmm. What do they t- have? Out. Nazi ties now or something? No, no. What else they, is there? Uh, they served eviction letters to uh, the kids who weren't vaccinated and were receiving cancer treatment. That's really insane. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they were really mean about it. I hope they sent Ronald McDonald to do it himself. Up, get the needles out of you. Let's go. Let's go. Tubes out of your nose now. Out of the bed. You sick little fuck. Did that happen in Canada or in the U.S.? I believe that was U.S., but I'll double check. I did hear about that. You did hear about it? I did. I heard that. What do you think about that? I mean, it's, um, <clears throat> I hope, uh, I hope that stuff devolves into some sort of, uh, global violence so I can fucking, uh, s- torture a lot of people. So we can have a gay fashion show. Yeah. <laughs>